Good morning and welcome to Quest Television and Quest 93.1 FM, the station that goes beyond your expectation. Well, today is the 22nd day in the month of September in the year 2023. A lovely Friday here uh, in the studios, despite the fact that it is raining. And I do hope you're having a lovely Friday as well. With that being said, it's time for us to look into the headlines, making the rounds on the front pages of the dailies. My name is Orikami Mariam, and welcome to the paper review here on Quest today. Making a return back to studio this morning are five newspapers. We have The Nation, we have The Guardian, The Nigerian Tribune, The Punch, as well as The Vanguard newspaper. Uh, sadly, Comrade Ifeo Dama, our admirable Quest analyst, is not here with us today in the studios, but I do have my colleague, the person of Michael Gubadia. Good morning and welcome to the show. Well, Miriam, indeed a very wet morning. Mm. And Daba. It has been raining cats and dogs uh, all through the night up to this time. Mm. Well, they're irrespective of how cold it is and how really, you know, some people will really feel down about the rain and the fact that Domo is not here with us. We'll, we'll try and see how we'll make up their day. Oh. Make it really warm. All right, with that being said, let's head straight into the papers. And the first paper for review this morning will be The Guardian. And on the front page of The Guardian newspaper this morning, the major headline reads, uh, it says, Paradox of Plenty. Uh, the state's Nigeria loses one trillion naira yearly, importing active pharmaceutical ingredients. Uh, well, a lot of people are asking, can't we find this ingredient here in Nigeria? But do want to get more details on that on page four and page five of The Guardian. Moving away from that, we have Dangote and Modular Refineries abandoned petrol refining over return of subsidy. That's, wow. that's quite an wow. interesting one. And, 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 and funny enough, is making a round, mm. especially as he returned. And funny enough, is also a major on one of the front pages. Yeah, lots of people are quite worried uh, or quite surprised yeah. that subsidy has uh, somehow found its, found its way back. But I uh, do want to get more details on that on page 15 of The Guardian. Moving away from that, we have Tenable Files motion to stop Chicago Varsity from releasing academic results to Atiku. And the big question is why? Uh, well, Michael, I can see the reaction in your face. Well, anyway, but I would, I, would pro, I, would, I would tell you all to go read get, to get more details on that on page, uh, page two of The Guardian. But moving away from that, we have despite Tenable's assurances, U.S. issues travel advisory to citizens. Get more details on that on page six. Ogun, Ogun lawmakers and six others napped over Shagamu Coast clash. It's making it to page eight. And also MPC meeting postponed as CBN faces leadership vacuum. It's also making it to page three of The Guardian. Finance Minister blames Naira's dive on $6.8 billion of a due payment. Uh, more details on that you can get on page six. And at this point, that's much we can take on the front page of The Guardian newspaper. Well, the punch will be the next paper for us to quickly look at today on um, Quest Today and the paper it is. And on the punch newspaper, the leading story reads, Federal government may pay 1.68 trillion naira for subsidy as marketers forecast 900 naira per litre. Wow. Ooh, we truly need that subsidy now. Petrol price to rise again as naira nears 1,000 naira. Crude oil hits $95. And Ipman warns operators uh, commend government for subsidy proposal as CSOs oppose fresh subsidy. But I'll just tell you to truly enjoy more of that story, if you can, on page two. But let's quickly see if we take all the leading ones. Uh, currency in circulation rise to 2.7 trillion, according to a CBN report. And academic record delays a tickle request to the bull cells, uh, tells Supreme Court as legal team seeks review of ruling ex-VP's aid alleged cover-up. But anyway, don't cover that up, but get more of the story on page 22 of The Punch. Let's quickly see if we take some other leading stories just beneath the picture of the day. I remain lawyer, forgive me, Shaibu begs of Basiki. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, I had the cough of my mouth there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, court clashes uh, relocate to Shagamo. Abiodun tells security heads on page 4 and 5. And consumers allege sabotage as greed collapse was in outrage. Well, it's, it's almost the fourth time I would see a spate of for uh, 10 days. But anyway, get that story on page 17. The picture of the day and a major one you can also look at on page uh, 4 and 5 of the punch. Pathologists uh, conclude autopsy on Mubad's Cubs police await result. Well, still there. But anyway, that's also making a round, especially mm, on the picture of the yeah. day today on the punch. All right, the next paper for review would be the Nigerian Tribune. And on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune this morning, the major headline reads, Questions persist over petrol subsidy. Uh, well, lots of questions indeed. The writer that says federal government was running quasi-deregulation, says the Ipman, and also crude oil price and forex uh, further impact uh, diesel price. Do also get all of that on page six. 
Moving on, we have a trial of HIV vaccine to start in South Africa and the U.S. I get more details on that on page four. Tunubu files emergency appeal against U.S. court order on release of academic records. It seems to be making it rounds on all the dailies yeah. this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get more on that on page three. Still on page three of the Nigerian Tribune, it says coronation rights begin Monday for new Ashen. Um, well. I, I don't see Comrade Domo getting ordained in any way, but well, well, th this is a way of saying <laughs> that I miss him right now. We do uh, but uh, moving away from that, we have a CBN postponed September NPC meeting indefinitely. Mm. Get more details on that on page seven. On Shagamu court clash, he says Ogun lawmakers, uh, lawmaker, and six others in DSS net. Uh, we hope they, we do hope that uh, justice is served. Yes, yes. Uh, but get more details on that on page twenty-seven. Mobad's body exhumed and autopsy done and nurse in post police custody we have so far on the social media space we've been seeing a lot of um yeah. what peaceful protests protest. and i believe yesterday calling, yes calling for yeah, calling for justice and yesterday was his candle night yes. uh yeah so i remember a lot of that procession well may he so rest in peace but get more details on that on page 27. And though Deputy Governor begs Obaseki for forgiveness, the writer that says, uh, says I am missing my governor. Uh, <laughs> well, peace is supreme. Yes, peace is supreme. Well, get more details on that on page four. Tribunal upholds Mbass victory as any good governor and uh, Mufuang no fate today. Get more details on that on page 12. And the final headline on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune, Tinubu woos investors in the U.S. The writer that says, invest in Nigeria without fear, he says. Well, well anyway. Uh, yeah, get more details on that on page 23. And well, that's much we can take on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. All right, the Vanguard will be the next paper for us to quickly look at today. And on the Vanguard, the leading story reads, Fresh strike looms as NLC ultimatum expires today. As NLC leaders meet next week, as federal government gets uh, desperate to avert action. Uh, but then we get more of the action on page five of the Vanguard. Uh, let's see if we quickly take orders. Tunubu to United Nations, I fought for democracy, determined to prove it can provide development. And well, it's still a developing story that you can get on page nine. Non development Obi Bois, Julius Berger, Agabi orders lose Abuja lands as weak hero evokes 167 plots. <coughs> well, anyway, page four has more of that story. I will say nothing more. Shaibu apologizes to Obaseke for feud, seeks forgiveness, and I can hear Obaseke saying, Go and see no more. But anyway, <laughs> just cut that story on page 10. Nigerians trade with Africa up to 40.8% to 1.84 trillion is a major story on page 23. And uh, let's see if we take some other leading stories. Again, a sad one. Gunmen murder ASP, Inspector in Enugu, a police patrol ambush. It's a sad one on page 11. And uh, trivia cases like 12 bond goods were brought to the Supreme Court. Wow. Wow. <coughs> That's, I, 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 I have to be there as soon as possible. And I, I'm quite sure Oresi will be planning to head to the Supreme Court over his missing... Uh, well, anyway, let's leave that one, Sha. <laughs> but anyway, all I know, kidnapped core members are making effort to rescue remaining five uh, DG, says the NYSC. And you can get that story on page six. And, uh, well, in spot, FIFA ranking, Super Eagles dropped by one step, now 40th in the world. Uh, but another major story right there, poor economy insecurity, worrisome. Muslim leaders are screaming out that on page four. But let's see if we take some comic relief and oh. go to Mr. and Mrs. Column. And according to Mrs., of course, I remember the married vows, but I will not let you mess up my hairdo because you are cold. If you are cold, you can always drink hot tea. Well, anyway, Mr. has to reply, tea in this cold weather, okay, tell the maid to bring it to me in the bedroom. Huh. Well, anyway, well, <laughs> e every man will do that. Well, I hope my eh? madam is I, hearing I, what I'm saying. Well. But anyway, that's the much <laughs> you can take from the vanguard this morning. I'm quite sure your madam heard <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh, but let's move away from that. Well, the final paper for review this morning is The Nation. And on the front page of The Nation newspaper this morning, the major headline reads, Tunubu woos Nigerians in the U.S. to invest back home. The writer that says overcome setbacks and adopt new mindsets. President advises, are we going to take that advice? Well, I don't know, but do well to read. Uh, do well to get more details on that on page four after reading on the front page of The Nation. Moving away from that and above the masthead, we have Shoibu's office at government house reallocated. The writer that says, I'm sorry, Deputy Governor begs boss. Uh, well, like, uh, uh, oh, I was about to say comrade. Like Govardhan said, 
go and sin no more. Uh, but get more details on that on page five. So it's still lawmakers okay move to impeach on the deputy governor is making it to page 25. And also bank raises 13 billionaire for subsidy, subsidy paying palliatives. Uh, we're going to get him out of that money is what I do not know. But get more details on that on page seven. Moving away from that, we have former governors firm and others lose choice land in Abuja. The writer that says Obi, Agabi, Darie, Imoke, Uduma, banks and construction firms and others on the list. Get more details on that on page 4 after reading on the front page. Umba Flores Edeuga to retain seat in Enugu as governor is making it to page 6. And moving away from that, India suspends visa to Canadians. Uh, get more details on that on page 5. Bazoum asks ECOWAS courts to free him. It's making it to page 5 as well. And Poland opposes Germany on UN Security Council seat. It's also making it to page 5. Moving on, we have Soludo ends fees in Anambra schools. Uh, quite a good, yeah, that's quite an interesting one. A laudable one. Yeah, it's a laudable one, but get more details on that on page 25. And Senate seek justice for Mubat. Yes, you can get more details on that on page 31. And well, for the picture of the day, we can see President Bola Metinubu with the Secretary General of the UN. And this picture was taken uh, yesterday. Well, at this point, we've taken all the headlines on the front pages of all the dailies I mentioned earlier, which is the Guardian, uh, the Nation, the Nigerian Tribune, the Punch, as well as the Vanguard newspaper. And at this point, I open the phone line so you could call in and have your say. But do not forget to stick to the headlines on the front pages of all the dailies we mentioned. And when calling in, step away from your TV or radio set or turn down the volume in order to avoid connection interruptions. The numbers to call are on your screen. Uh, but for those on radios, the number remains 0818889 through 1 and 0822 With that being said, let's take our first call for the day. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Naria. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, good yeah, morning. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Uh, 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 sorry for that. My name is Kobez Osha, and I'm calling from Mosoga. All right. Uh, welcome to the show. Please have your say. Yeah. Uh, Nigeria to pay $1.5 uh, trillion for subsidy as subsidy is coming back again. Mm. Before we start paying for subsidies, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu should come and announce that the subsidy is back. Because, uh, because he tells us subsidy has gone and it's gone forever. Mm. So if you want to install it, let it come back and tell us. Then on uh, Chicago uh, University on his uh, certificate, why is he adding the certificate? Why does he want to open, uh, review certificate for us? Is he really lost as a, a military uh, president? Let me bring the certificate for us. Hmm. That is just my tip this morning. Thank you very much. And well, uh, thank you for calling today. Even though I do not know really well, yeah, who that Mr. Was. Happy doesn't sound to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> the way you responded to both of them. Okay, but uh, let's, take a, let's take more calls uh, before Hello? we you know, talk, about on the, talk on the matter Hello? a little bit. Hello, good morning. Your name and yeah, your good location, morning. please. Good. This is Chief Duku from Ekrejavu. All right, Chief Duku, welcome to the show. Please have your say. Yes, Tinubu uh, inviting uh, Nigerians in U.S. to come home and invest. Yes. So I just wonder, somebody that came from the east, can he come home to invest in the eastern part of Nigeria? Or somebody that stay, that come from Zanfara or Bonu, can he come home and invest? You don't just deceive people. If you come home and solve the security problems in Nigeria, if you solve the security problem, naturally people will come home to invest. Mm. Because east or west, home is the best. Yeah. People will always come to their home. People that have fled this country because of insecurity or hunger, you are telling them to come back when the situation where you have not solved the problem that makes them to run away. So I don't understand the kind of questions we have. Mm. And the other one, uh, subsidy coming back. One question I want to ask this government, which problem did they meet and they have solved? Which problem? Is it security, economy, or health? Which problem? No. And all the problems we have before they came on board have been increased. They have been multiplied. So it's like we elect them to come and increase our problem. Let me off stop so the other can talk. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you very much, Chief Duku. 
Well, well he, anyway, he, just he, like that call mm. uh, earlier uh, to saying that uh, we should also be notified that the subsidy is back. But the call that many would say, how did it come back? But then we'll talk more about that. Hello, uh, good morning. Take more calls. Hello, good morning to you. I'm thank God calling for my barato. Oh, thank God, thank God you called us. <laughs> uh, I want to say just one thing. Yeah. Well, I think you said first of Tinubu said first subsidy is gone. Yeah. Mm. Now, first subsidy is coming back again. Mm. Are they playing with the citizens of this country? What kind of leadership is that? So, you know you cannot control the team as a leader. And you are putting it to know that the team is gone. Now you want to bring it back. It should come, it should come back again to the television to tell us that first, first subsidy is back. That's my take this morning. Thank you. Oh, well, thank God. Thank God you said so. And many persons are of uh, the opinion why it's coming back. And the clear reason is that if we follow an international market and the recent rate of the Naira compared to the dollar, mm. four will sell for 900 or 1,000 Naira. Mm. So I guess the subsidy is to deal with that issue mm. of having it increase after or more than 610 Naira. But, but listening to the callers, yeah? Mm. Taking from what uh, I think that was Chief Duku, mm -hmm. he did say that the, the president should come out and yeah. address Nigerians again on the matter. We, we need a clarity on that. Mm, yes. and, uh, but I feel what really Nigeria needs at this moment is getting those refineries to work so we do not go through this route or route of having it come, having it go. Mm. Anyway, we need to go get yeah, more calls. Let's take more calls. Hello, good morning. Good morning, yeah, good morning ma. Good morning, Mr. Henry. This is Henry Graf from Mosaga. All right. You know, this is the... What are the, I would have said this way, this subsidy issue. This government did not study this thing at all. Now you are saying it's gone. But, 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 but I pay heavily for where? And it doesn't mean that they are still paying money. And you, know, it's, it's, you also have studied this thing. Then, I, of course, look at the sabotage and say they can resolve the issue before we say it's gone. Now, people want to go on strike because of uh, first of the day. Uh, now, you see that it's still around. So, that is, there's something wrong somewhere. This government should think all their policies should be well thought up before they are implemented, please. Don't just pay, do a uh, color something, a try uh, error something. Please, this is your trip to the, the last people for Christ's sake. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, Mr. thank you, Harry. Mr. Harry. <laughs> well, I know we're not playing Kalo Kalo here, though, but uh, seeing how we can take more calls, get those reactions, and still remain with the papers. Five of them is what we had. Mm. Well, let's get those calls, as I said earlier. Hello, good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm good. You're new. Good morning. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Please go ahead. We can hear you. Your name okay. and your location. My case is, uh, I want to ask whether this palliative is for only the civil servants of this country. Mm. Because the, 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 the pain is not being bought by them alone. Mm. The ordinary man in the street, some of them are, cannot even take one square meal a day. Mm. The people that are receiving salary are still receiving the same palliative, receiving money, even no matter how small it is. If we, all, if we all can test the bitterness, we all should test the sweet. Why is this so being, being, a, uh, being made for some people are special? Oh. That's my case. Oh, right. Thank you the country very belongs much. to us. Thank you very much, Father. Well, we still have time for one or two more calls yeah, before we okay. round things up on the paper review this morning. Uh, the papers we took this morning are The Guardian, The Nation. Hello, good morning. Uh, okay, we have a call online. Hello, good morning. Uh, uh, good morning. Your name good and your location, you please. This engineer shall call it from Mugen. All right. Please have your say. On this issue of first subsidy, of first subsidy is gone and mm -hmm. first subsidy is back. With all this problem, all, all this pronunciation, we, our refinery are put in place to be work. Is this issue, issue of the square pool price will not come down to Nigeria? So let this our government, President Mola Tilugu, please put our refinery to work so that Nigeria can get peace of this way issue. Hmm. That is my stake. All right, thank, thank you very much. Uh, but we, like I said earlier, we still have time for one or two more callers. Uh, the numbers to call remain the same. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. Your name and your location, please. My name is Richard Carr. I'm calling from Ugeli. All right. Welcome on board. Have your say. All right. I want to comment on the Senate seeking justice for Mubad. Okay. Yes. yes. The whole of the country, Nigeria, the masses have been crying. There is suffering. There is pain in the land. Mm. The Senate has been quiet, saying nothing about it. Now, 
I'm not saying seeking justice for Mubad is a bad one, but what happened to every other Nigerian that has been crying? What has this team done about it? Thank you. That's my question for them. Hmm. Okay, well, Michael, that was yeah. an interesting question. Uh, a there. question that yeah, needs to really be answered. We, you know, it's becoming more like um, a norm that people will wait for something bad to happen mm. before everybody comes to your aid. And if you keep going that way, it's really not the, the best. To but it, this seems as though this is the first time that the Senate is actually taking up, mm. uh, you know, one of these issues yes. and you know, putting it on their priority list. Mm. And I, 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 my question now is this: Is this a good, uh, the right step well, well, in the it, right direction? It, it is the right step because, uh, like Nigerians, would definitely call. Uh, since he died, uh, we've had many Nigerians take to the streets calling for justice, mm. all in the need to reform our music industry to see how our things can truly work for all of them. But mm -hmm. uh, irrespective of that, I still remain to say that it's better you take care of somebody that is living mm -hmm. than give living. him a whole lot of praise when he's dead. Yes. Well, you have spoken well, Michael, but uh, my kid is giving me the signal. It is time for us to yeah. sign off. Thank you very much for keeping it real here on the paper review here on Quest today. Have yourself a lovely Friday and do not go anywhere.